Hi there, this is Pablo and in this video I'm going to talk about how to audit changes in your Salesforce org using Salto. So let's say that I'm the Salesforce admin of a large org. Because our org is so large, we have given business users the ability to edit email templates themselves. This has been great for them because it has given them full flexibility to do whatever changes they want without having to log a case with the Salesforce development team. However, this flexibility comes at a cost. It has been impossible to track changes. They're also stepping on each other's toes and overriding changes. And it's really hard to tell who has changed what and when. So let's see how Salto's audit can help us here. Salto's audit is based on a Salto environment and a connection to a GitHub repository. So if we look at my environment here, we can see that it is connected to a GitHub repository. If I go back to one of the email templates, I can see how I have pushed that email template to my Git repository. So let's see how a business user can actually push changes to this GitHub repository without having to know anything about Git or version control. So we're going to go back to the email template and let's make a change. We're going to remove this first sentence here so that it'll just say your password. Let's save that. And that's it. Now what we have to do is we have to go back to our environment and do a fetch. So now the fetch has finished. So now if we go to the audit tab, we can see that there is one on push file. So let's go ahead and click preview push. And here we can see that there has been a change to the email template and we can see exactly what changed. This is the previous version and this is the new version. So the idea here is that the business user made the change in the Salesforce UI without any knowledge of Git, version control or anything like that. Then you can retroactively come back here and simply tick these boxes here and say, I'm going to push these changes to my GitHub repository. So let's say email template changes this week. We're going to click on push here and that's it. Now, if I go back to my GitHub repository, let's go ahead and refresh this. As you can see, this is now showing the new value. And if I go here and click on history, I can see all the changes made on this email template. And we can also see the specific changes that were made at the time. And so again, this is really nice because your business users don't need to know anything about Git. They just need to make the changes and later on that week or once a month or once a day, you just need to retroactively commit your changes. And so this works for pretty much anything in your Salesforce metadata, could be email templates, Apex classes, etc.